tell me about your hometown. Where do you live? Um, I live in Seoul, which is the capital city of South Korea. And I grew up in Seoul, so it is my hometown as well. Well, I've been living there all my life. Is there anything you dislike about it? Well, um, I'm quite satisfied with where I live. I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. But if I have to choose one thing that I'm not too fond of, then it would be the frequent traffic jams. Well, especially during rush hour. You know, I hate being stuck in traffic. Did you learn about the history of your hometown at school? Um, I think so. In school, I learned about the history of my city. You know, things like how it has developed and what role the city played politically and all. But um, to be honest, I don't remember any detail of it. You know, I've never paid much attention in my history class. How important are friends to you? Friends mean a lot to me. My best friends are always there for me and we help each other whenever any of us are going through some tough times. Well, I believe the value of a good friendship is priceless and immeasurable. Do you often go out with your friends? Well, um, not very often. Um, I guess once or twice a month. I used to hang out with my friends quite often, like more than twice a week. But nowadays, I'm so busy like 24-7, so it's almost impossible to hang out with them that often. Where do you often meet each other? Um, it's always different, you know? But I guess we usually hang out in downtown where our go-to cafes and restaurants are located. Um, one of our favorite cafes called Rain is kind of hidden in an alley. So although the area is quite crowded and busy, the place itself is fairly quiet and has a peaceful vibe, which I really like. So I think we meet up there a lot these days. Are there wild animals in your country? Yes, of course. There are a number of wild animals in Korea, such as deer, um, wild pigs, and you know snakes and others. Well, I've seen a snake when I was hiking in Jeju, which is really scary, you know, but it just passed by. Thank goodness. Have you ever been to a zoo or a safari park? Um, I've been to a zoo several times when I was a child. It was located in the suburbs of Seoul, which was quite far from where I lived. My family was very keen on visiting the zoo, so we would go there on special occasions like my birthday or children's day and so on. What is the animal you would like to see in the wild? Um, I would love to see rabbits in the wild. Well, because, you know, no particular reason. They're just super cute, you know. Uh, I've only seen them in pictures or at the zoo. So it would be awesome to encounter those little cute bunnies in the wild. Describe the ideal house you'd like to have. Okay, um, let me tell you about the house that I dream of. Well, first of all, my dream house should be really spacious. I mean, it has high ceilings and lots of rooms. On top of that, I would love to have floor-to-ceiling windows that let in abundant natural light, giving a bright ambience, you know. And it has a huge pool and a beautiful garden. Oh, with a patio swing. Well, I love to grow lots of vegetables in my garden, um, such as tomatoes and lettuce, you know, something like that. Well, and location. The location is also very important. I would like to live in the heart of downtown, where it has a lot of famous restaurants and shopping places and all. But it's kind of hidden in an alley, so the area should be fairly quiet and has a peaceful vibe. Um, when it comes to my bedroom, well, I would love to have king-size bed a comfy chair, and some space that I can enjoy playing my guitar. 
No, I love chilling and playing my favorite guitar songs in my room. Well, it really helps me relieve my stress and you know uplift my mood. So it would be awesome to have some space for playing the guitar in my room. Well, so these are the things that I would love to have in my ideal house. I hope to be able to have this kind of house in the future. What are the most common architectural style in Korean cities? Um, in Korea, there are tons of high-rise buildings, especially in major cities like Seoul. Um, as the population has grown, high-rise buildings and apartments have become a common feature in Korean cities. So when I consider the people around me, um, it seems that more than 80% of them live in high-rise apartment buildings, including myself. What's the difference between an apartment and a house? Um, these two options are completely different, you know? Let me think. Well, I would say the most significant difference between them is the limited space for gardening in apartments. While some apartment units may have balconies where people can grow plants, it's not the same as having a spacious garden in front of a house. I think that's one of the most distinctive differences. What's the difference between living in the countryside and living in the city? Well, there can be a lot of differences. The first thing that comes to mind is that if you live in the city, there are a lot more amenities and places to go. Living in the city provides easier access to facilities like doctor's offices and convenience stores, as well as popular shopping malls and restaurants. Well, this access to a wide range of options is one of the significant distinctions between living in the countryside and living in a city. What are the advantages of the facilities of the house? Well, the facilities of the house offer several advantages. One of them is that houses often come with outdoor areas such as gardens, patios, and you know, even space for a swimming pool as well. I'm very keen on growing plants and vegetables, so having a garden is one of the major benefits that houses provide. What difficulties do people have living in the city? Um, residents in big cities may have several difficulties living there. One of them could be the air pollution problem because of all the heavy traffic and factories. The air quality in major cities is very poor. Plus, to find this problem has made it even worse. Well, yeah, so this has become such a serious environmental issue. I think the government should take steps to actively resolve this problem.